Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's another episode of Are They Worth It? I buy cheap parts and I see if they're worth it so that you can order them too. Today we're working on the Tahoe. No, the Fox body isn't running yet. No, it's not wired. It's closer, closer than it was a month ago. <clears throat> we'll get to that later. But what we're doing today is I picked up a fairly inexpensive um, roof rack for the Tahoe. Now, some of you may know I plan to camp and do fun things with the Tahoe, and that's just going to help me have more storage, more places to put things. Um, you know, and it's one of those things that you just put on stuff like that. So instead of buying one of the more expensive, you know, Yo Yokama, Yo Yo, whatever they're called, or whatever the other name brands are, I went to Amazon. And I picked up this guy. Uh, I don't remember the brand. Arkson? Arkinson? Arkins? This picture. That picture. You'll see it. But um, for like 140 bucks, I'll put a link to it in the description down below if you want to pick one up. I'm not affiliated or anything like that. So don't worry. You're not giving me any money. But I got it in a couple days ago. And today is really nice outside. Like, look at the sun. Whew. I got the Tahoe cleaned up. It's going to look good. Maybe. There's a few precautions I took when I bought this because I read some reviews. They're not the greatest. <laughs> and they can rust and get leaks pretty bad. Um, so I picked up some Permatex um, adhesive sealant um, just to kind of help mitigate any kind of water getting into the tubes and rusting it out prematurely. $140 compared to I think two to three to four hundred dollars for one of the other name brand ones. I think we'll do whatever we can to make it work. I'll probably bedline it later on, but for now I just want to get it on the Tahoe. So let's go get the box open, we'll get everything laid out, and I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'll get it put together. We'll talk about it. All that good stuff. Stay tuned. Are they worth it? We'll find out. Okay, so you saw me unbox it. The boxing was actually pretty nice. It was pretty well packaged. Um, they had little rubber covers over all of the inserts so you didn't knock them off or, or not knock them off, but beat them up and bang them around and make it harder on yourself. That was kind of surprising. The instructions for assembly is literally one page. And one of those pages is just a picture and the other is just a picture of it blown up. So, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be very hard. It's literally got five pieces right here. So let's take a look at it. So here's the main basket. Um, if I wanted to, I could make a short basket and just add these two together. But I got the 64 inch, so it comes with the extensions here. So what we're gonna do is put those together and then put these in between these. And then it came with the brackets to mount them and also the brackets to hold it onto the roof rack. Now what I'm going to do with this Permatex is I'm going to pretty much coat each of these inserts before I slide them in. You can actually see there's already, that one's been nicked already so I may get a little bit of paint and just touch that up. Um, overall the quality of it, it's not terrible. There's a few nicks here and there. No big deal. Like I said, I'll probably end up bedlining it eventually. But like all of these inserts for here where these snap together, I'll be putting Permatex on those as well. Um, like in these. Just to make sure we try to cut down as much as possible on water getting in. The hardware, it doesn't look like it has any type of thread sealer or anything like that. So I'll get a little bit of blue Loctite and put that on there. So... I'm going to start getting this thing assembled. I may do a little montage here for you and we'll get going. So 
So this is what we got afterwards. We're just gonna go. Sorry, we're just gonna go around and try to seal that up as much as we can. Like I said, this isn't a perfect thing, but once it's all sanded later and bed lined, you'll never notice. So, I'm going to get this other side finished, and we'll be back. Okay, so I'm halfway through, sort of. I do these videos so that you don't have to make the same mistakes that I do. Um... Don't seal up your center section of the extension until after you have it installed. I would gob it up on the sides though, like you saw me do just a while ago. Uh, here's why. The center still moves in and out. Let me show you. So here's the center. Even connected over here, the center still moves in and out. So it never would get a good seal. So then I got to thinking, this is awful thin in comparison so that's a lot of space how about we put the whole front end on boom boom and then once it's all bolted together i come in here with my handy dandy sealer with the little tip and we just pretend like we're welding and fill that up that's what we're going to try to do also i said that the hardware didn't have any kind of loctite or anything it actually does the the nuts have thread locker on them. Whether it's good enough, I don't know, but we're gonna go with it. So I'm gonna get these tightened down and we're gonna get the front on. Oh, hey, thought I forgot about you, didn't you? My ladder almost fell. So obviously it's together. Uh, we're up on top of the Tahoe. Now, like I said, this rack is 64 inches. My roof rack rails are 44 inches apart. However, the way that it is, like I was wanting to do 10 inches from each rail to make it symmetrical, but I want to still be able to use my sunroof. Sorry, I'm out of the picture. Um, but I want to still be able to use a sunroof and enjoy it. So that's going to make it difficult, so to speak. Plus, I still have to be able to lift my back hatch. So really, I'm on the first, the second set of rails back here and then there's four sets in the front it would have been two and two or three and three before i think but anyway this is going to work this kit does come with the hardware to mount it's kind of complicated and it took me a minute to figure it out this goes on the bottom of your roof rack rail so it goes underneath and then this goes over top of the roof rack bar the actual basket and so then that would make it to where you have a u-bolt style thing comes up from here and then you have some little spin knobs i'll just put it on and i'll show you Maybe I lied. Let me go look. <sighs> okay, so I consulted with the professionals, AKA the third grade instruction set here. Looks like this actually goes between the basket and your factory roof rack. Like so. Then this goes underneath your factory roof rack up through that. Similarly to a U bolt. Then this goes over top. And what clamps your factory? rail rack 
is just the little metal U-bolt. And then you have these little spinner caps. That cinch down. Now obviously you're going to want these to be facing up. Because I think if they were facing down. That would be a little bit hard to do. And if you're like me. Just figuring out how they work is already complicated enough. Alright. So there's one. We're going to get them all on. Then we'll center everything up and we'll talk about it. All right, we're done, sort of. Um, one thing I forgot, they sent these little rubber covers. These actually go on the centers of the expansions where nothing touches. Um, or at least I'm assuming. Because they fit there, they were in the bass or in the bag with the other hardware, so I don't know where else they would go. And there's two, four, yeah, there's six of them. So this is all I'm doing here. Is just snapping these over. I'm sure these will fall off eventually, but. That's where they go. So I'm going to put those on real quick and then give it a once over and we'll talk about what I think. I know this might be a long video. Appreciate you for watching, but if I thought about it and was wondering if they were any good, I would hope somebody else was too. So there you have it. That's the cheapo to me. I mean, it's inexpensive. When I used to sell cars, they would say, don't say cheap, say less expensive or inexpensive. Because it, it adds value even though there's no value. <laughs> That's the roof rack. Um, I thought it was an Arkson. I was expecting to have a big sticker across the top. I'll have to look. Y'all have already seen the picture. I haven't because I don't pay attention. But I thought that was what it was supposed to have across the front plate. And I also thought the front plate was supposed to be removable. Which it's not. Which I'm okay with. Um, that's just going to get sticker bombed anyway. And I was excited that it might be removable because I could flip it over without the logo showing. So I'm actually okay with that. There's actually holes in the side um, like it was supposed to be a bolt-on, but it's not, so it's not a huge deal. Um, overall, construction's pretty good. Like I said, there was a few nicks and chips in the paint, the powder coating, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I can get over that. Like I said, I plan to probably paint it in the spring anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, the mounts are good. The only thing that I'm having an issue with is they're not quite wide enough to really sit flush. So what I actually did was I actually spread them out as far as I could. And it may be the way you're supposed to do it, I don't know. But that also brought the center of it lower. So it's as low of a profile as you can get. Where my roof rails kind of hump, um, if I put them closer to the center to make them uh, hold, it would have raised up the rack. Um, overall, I'm happy with the look. I think it looks pretty good time will kind of only tell if I think this one's going to be worth it or not. Um, if it rusts out in a month, I'll definitely say no. Um, follow me on Instagram, stuff like that. You might be able to see if something like that happens. Um, ease of install, super easy. If I hadn't have done the, the adhesion silicone stuff, it would have been super quick, super easy. Bing, bam, boom, would have been done. Um, the nuts, it's almost like a washer, like a uh what do we call those wing nut but it's got four prongs or five prongs you saw it in the video those are kind of tough to to manipulate with your fingers if in the cold or something like that those would be hard to use i don't know if they make a tool that's supposed to sit down in those of course they didn't send one if they do that would be kind of difficult to use if you were wanting to take this off really quick um they seem to tighten down good they might rust and that's the only thing i didn't like that the the u-bolts were I assume they're stainless, probably not, but they're not, they don't seem to be coated in anything. The threads will probably rust. I'll probably be mad. I'll probably cut them off. I don't know. Anyway, overall, trying to be optimistic, I'm pretty happy with it. Be sure when you mount the, the bolts on the sides that you stagger them, one goes in on the top, the one on the bottom goes up. That way you don't have the threads of the bolt sticking down just in case when you're installing it, you hit your car or something like that. It's not going to gouge a big piece of paint out. So yeah, there you go. 
an inexpensive roof rack option for your off-roading, camping, towing, whatever rig. It looks pretty good. It's symmetrical. It's exactly what I wanted. It covers up everything from pretty much the front seats back. Um, easy to get to. You saw me up there on the back door. wasn't having to use a ladder or anything like that. I did use a ladder because it was easier, but I could easily get to things if I had them up there. I wouldn't put a tire or anything like that up there. The weight capacity on this one's 150 pounds. Just because it's three pieces, I wouldn't really stretch the limits of that. It may get an axe, maybe a high, maybe a high lift. Um, I'm really wanting to do a water storage device on the side for like showers, things like that. Nothing for drinking. Um, yeah, so this is going to be my camping rig. That's what this is. If you don't know, now you know. Um, I'm excited about spring, maybe even a few winter camps in the next couple weeks. Stay tuned. There you go, guys. Would I buy it again at first glance, first opinion of it? Yeah, it was 140 bucks. Wasn't that bad. Not bad at all. So there you go. If you got one, get one or had one. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. More video, more video, more videos to come. And uh, yeah, maybe the next one will be something with the Mustang. Who knows? All right, y'all stick with me. We'll see what we can do. Thanks, guys. God bless.